yo, 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 what, what, you're gonna Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Toby O'Case and if you are returning, welcome back. It is me. So, in today's YouTube video, as you can obviously tell by the foods in front of me, you can probably tell that I'm doing a viral TikTok food combination challenge or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but basically, I've compiled some of the most random food combinations that I could find and basically I'm going to be trying them in this video. I think I have a stomach of steel and nothing really affects me like that. So I believe I'll be able to at least swallow the foods that I'm going to try today. I also have some water here just in case I need help swallowing it and stuff. I'm just going to get started because some of the things like the pizza and the chips, the bacon, I literally freshly prepared just now so I need to dig in like straight away, get into it like right now so yeah. Before you start watching this video make sure to like this video already, make sure to comment down below. What's your favourite fruit? I want to know that. Comment that down below. And also make sure you turn your post notifications on so that you are notified whenever I post a new video. Okay enough of that, let's just get into it and let's go because I'm kind of intrigued so let's try these food combinations. Let's get started, let's get into it, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first food combination, let me just check because I wrote them down. The first thing I'm going to be trying is banana and bacon. I'm just gonna get right in. I don't know how to eat this. I don't know whether they cut it up. I don't know anything. I want this banana not opening. This isn't that right, but we move. Got the banana and then I've got the bacon. It's a bit crispy. This bacon is actually so good. I think I'm just stalling, but okay. Should I just eat it like wrap it around i'm gonna wrap it around because that's what i said i was gonna do that is what i'm doing to myself um yeah and just bite in it oh. Weirdly, that one wasn't even bad. I would genuinely give that like an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna like... No, that wasn't bad. That one was giving. I feel like it's because this banana is not ripe enough, so it doesn't really taste like banana. It's just kind of bland, so... I don't it's not bad. I like that one. So 8 out of 10 for me. That one was actually really kind of good. <laughs> okay, so the next one I did not take out of my fridge until now, but basically we have some salsa and apparently you pair the salsa with apples. Love that for me. All right, let's smell this salsa first. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, let's go. Ooh, why did I do that so confidently? Oh, ah! okay. The one thing about me is I dislike people that over exaggerate, but genuinely <laughs> it's, it's not even that I can smell the com combination, it's the fact that I can smell the salsa and the salsa smells nice, but I'm terrified to taste it together, like genuinely, so um, I feel like it's only fair if I get a tomato. Cheers! Oh. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, yes I can. Yes, I can. This isn't even the worst one on the list, I think. No, if you eat apples and salsa, you're at no. I'm not even gonna start. I'm not gonna start on you. I'm not because clearly your taste buds <laughs> are on a different level. Maybe you should go be a food critic or something because no, I wouldn't even trust food in your hands. What was that? If you eat that, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Uh, uh, two perfectly good things. You don't need to mix them together. You don't. You actually you don't. I'm terrified. Anyone that eats that, I'm actually scared of you. No, I need to move on to the next one because the taste in my mouth is actually horrific. Um, no, because when people over exaggerate, I'm like, just 
eat it I genuinely that just it was instant as soon as i put it in my mouth i was like Ooh. yeah no i'm scared now i'm genuinely terrified for the rest of these at first i was like okay let's just try it but now i'm scared the next one that we're gonna be trying is pizza and honey i think this should be another sweet savory combination so basically i just have a tasty I'm cold now. But it's still good. Meat feast, pizza, with some honey. Mind over my own. I think I'm just gonna like do a drizzle. Like that. And go like that. I think that should be enough. I don't think. Or do people use it as a dip? Maybe. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. I can't do this. Okay. good at first because of the tomato on it it gave the same effect as the salsa and the apple but after i got past that it kind of got good i'm not gonna lie so i think i'm gonna actually just drizzle just a tiny bit on it again and i think i'm gonna finish the slice this one's genuinely not that bad it's tasty Out of 10. And the fact that I even finished the whole thing shows you that I'm loving it. I literally love it. So, yeah. So, basically, I have my fries here, not the honey. I don't need that. I got sriracha, I got a bowl here, and smooth peanut butter. So, basically, this one was a sriracha and peanut butter dip, and you basically eat it with fries. Ooh, sriracha. So, I think this should be. I'm not gonna dip like all of the chips inside, so I think that should be enough. And I already took the top off of this. I got smooth because ain't nobody getting what's the other one? Crunchy, chunky. Look at that. I love peanut butter. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, it's just so good. And because this is a sauce you make by yourself, I think that you should be able to decide on your own ratio. But I'm just going to. No. I think that should be enough. And just mix it. I think it'll just be like a spicy peanut butter. Anyway, let's get a fry or a chip. I mean, and just dip it. I think this one should be nice. This one is the one that I was looking forward to. So let's taste it. Yeah. Bro. Oh my. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting from it, but not that. This combination right here is something else. I almost finished, boy. <laughs> There's actually nothing to say, 10 out of 10. Next clip, next clip. Next food item we have is cucumbers and sugar. Sugar's right here. I don't know how much sugar I'm supposed to use, but I just put a bit. I'm just gonna like dip it like this so that one face is granulated and has sugar on it. I really tell you know when you can tell that something you're just not gonna like something? That's one of them. Because I don't like cucumbers. <laughs> no. Oh okay, I can do it. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will, I will. Okay, I got it down. Okay, poo bag, it. Ugh. Okay, never again. <laughs> never gonna eat it again. Never doing that to myself again. That's not happening. If they told me I had to eat that to save someone's life, I would do it, but other than that, never again. One out of ten. Zero. One. Zero point five. <laughs> Some of these food combinations are scary. No. <laughs> so the next food combination that we have, and the second to last one, I think, is ketchup and popcorn. Honestly, this isn't the worst one of the day, so I can't really say anything. I don't think this is going to be that bad. I didn't know whether they use sweet or salty. They didn't specify, so I just got sweet and salty. We're going to use what we can finish, okay? For that. So it should be enough. You know they sell ketchup flavored stuff now because of this. That's enough. It doesn't smell that bad. Loki. I haven't had to spit anything out yet, so I don't think today's gonna be the day where I do that. Am I just weird?
you know it just kind of reminded me of salt and vinegar popcorn it's all i have left and i'm gonna finish it this genuinely is not terrible at all i like it would i ever have it again no if i was paid to eat it no I'd eat it that's kind of good i think that should be third i think it's like a seven this is kind of good i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna knock it. Finally, we have the last duo combination that I probably should have tried after the salsa and apple so I could get it over with, but this one is apparently very popular. So we're gonna try it. Um, I don't even like this fruit like that. So it's gonna actually be hard for me. <laughs> Watermelon. <sighs> We're gonna be trying it today. I mean, the colors go well together. It's giving McDonald's just for doing this to myself. I don't like myself. I don't like I'm eating an apple. But I'm not gonna lie, I've never tasted mustard by itself. The most mustard I've ever had is in a burger. Why did I decide to do this to myself? I could have given you guys another haul or something. I wanna smell it. Should I, even, should I just not go in? I'm not gonna smell it till afterwards. So that if it is what's messing up my taste buds, then I won't know. You know, got someone here. Let's just go like that. I apple it's also scarred me. Like I'm actually genuinely just scared to try stuff now. Okay, let's do it. Cheers. <laughs> Don't eat it all. Oh, oh. I'm not gonna breathe so I can't taste it. Whoa, whoa. That one was not going on. It burnt my tongue. Like, what is what is mustard? No, 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 no. I don't even think I can try this one. That violated my mouth. I can't do it. I don't know why I'm picking this up. Should I try and stomach this? I think I'm just, I can't do it. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. If I go back and spit this one out again, then this one's genuinely the worst. But if I can stomach it, maybe. That was the worst. What was... Oh, get these combinations out of my face. I'm not doing this ever. So that is all for today's video. As promised, I did say I'll give you a ranking. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go from seventh to first. So in seventh place, we have the watermelon and mustard combination because what was that? That was literally the worst thing in history. Never gonna eat it again. In sixth place, we have the apple and salsa. Another thing that was trash. It took two things that are amazing separately and made a horrible combination. I don't understand that. In fifth place, we have the cucumber and sugar combination. I don't like cucumber, I love sugar. I don't know, it just wasn't giving to Together. Fourth place, we have the popcorn and the ketchup. Wasn't a bad combination. If I was paid to eat it again, I'd eat it again. So nothing bad there. In third place, we have banana and bacon. It was literally the first one that I tried and it carried everything. In second place, we have the pizza and the honey. I finished the whole pizza slice. That's how you know it was good. It was tasty really tasty and finally in first place i put the sriracha mixed with peanut butter that condiment with the fries i gobbled that up i finished it behind the scenes i literally gobbled i'm literally gonna start making that for myself to just eat it's actually unbelievable how tasty that was i don't even understand it like i thought that was gonna be one of the ones that would last but ended up being one that i really enjoyed so I don't get it but we moved so that is all for today's video if you enjoyed today's video and you enjoyed me trying different food combinations and if you have food combinations of your own that you would like me to try then comment down below i might do a part two i don't know i like trying new stuff so i might do a part two probably most likely but yeah comment down below if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up i have not done a shout out in a while i know i haven't done it in a while but i'm like trying to think of when the last time i did it was <laughs> but i can't think of it but anyways i'm gonna put it right here and i just this sun like go away i'm trying to close i'm gonna fight go why is it getting stronger thank you
gonna leave the notification here and I just want to say I love you and thank you for commenting always and thank you for enjoying my videos. I love you everyone, wishing you happiness and I'll see you in my next video.